Alright fam, state your name and, and your fame. Earl Lucas, design manager responsible for the exterior of the 2010. Let me get in the middle. Hold on, let me get in the middle. Trash talk That's going a on sweet over joint right there, man. Oh How long God. it took you to design the right exterior? Well, the expo exterior was developed in two and a half years, years which the is really a record. A record. A record in terms of how fast we right developed the car. Me. So, I mean, no other product of course has been able to develop in that kind of time frame. We still were able you know, to bring home a head turn in the time. My goodness, man. What's the most exciting part of doing your job as far as getting it together and all of that? Well, the most exciting part of my job really is when you come to work, I get a chance to try to figure out what's next. You know, you got coming to work and not knowing really what it's going to be, know but you know you're going to create something. I'm neutral. I'm you know, in that whole see, process of ID8, right uh, developing a one shape to the next shape. When you're it's an exciting job. You and that's the, great, the best part of it. That's what's up. Now, when you, when you were designing the car, did you have a, a certain person in mind? Like, do you have now, a guy that you're thinking about when you're designing? Right now, you're well, there's with always right a customer now. profile developed for each car night, developed so that board. Now, our particular profile was called Jack 500 at the time. And this Jack was the life of the party. He was a, uh, a, a accomplished man who had a lot of things you know, going on in his life. Next, so he needed a full-size sedan that would accompany all the things going on. So we had this profile, man. And he wanted something fashionable. That's the biggest thing. He wanted something hot. Audience, so we don't want no excuses. That's what's up, man. It's an incredible vehicle, yeah, man. We're gonna walk around it real quick. Yes, sir. Let's show that we all been waiting. The good place to start from is the front, because you oh, notice that we oh, have a very man, premium so grill on it. Got a lot of right, right at the center, right at the uh, you know the main focus of the car, the blue oval, and all design lines radiate from the oh, grill. Okay, we keep it look at but, uh, past the grill. There is a strong yeah. theme line that's underneath the headlamps that actually transfers or relates to the side of the car. Ah. All right? Everybody That's a big deal. Hey, don't, don't slip on my headlamp because a lot of detail, a lot of jewelry went into making sure that the details feel right, that the car feels premium. I want you to even notice that inside that paint, inside that mold, there is metallic plate. So it's not just metallic plate on the exterior of the car. There's metallic plate ah. inside the lens as well. If you look at the other car, I mean the rest of the car, there is a major theme line that starts at that headlamp that goes all the way down to the body. And then it's complemented by another parallel line that gives the car a little thrust, a little direction. Now that's, that's, hey, that's not a subtle detail. We wanted to make the car look like it's been moving, yeah. even though it's standing yeah. still. Yeah. And then you got the side bend even pointing you in the right direction. Yeah. <laughs> when you go down the rest of the car, real strong line, very low silhouette, tight built line with, with a tight greenhouse. So all to make you feel more stylish and more sleek. That theme line is interrupted by the wheel flare. This line goes through the, uh, the fuel filler door, which most companies can't do, by the way, but we can. But then you see the termination of that theme line setting up the tail lamp, which everything flows together. So that's what we were trying to do, man. Just make a cohesive design that looks real, that people are going to relate to. What you did was you, you took the Taurus, which is like traditionally, some people may call it a cop car, some people may call it the, you know, the DT joint. You took it and made it stylish, like comparable, and I hate to say another brand, but comparable even to like the Lexus look and just bringing it all the way into the future. Yeah. It's very, very competitive now. We appreciate that. And I really, anytime we can be compared with premium brands where, you know, the cost of our car is actually half the price of their cars, but you still deliver it on a great design with great technology. I mean, that's what we're trying to do. Ford is not messing around no more. They're trying to get it right by de delivering products that people want. And that's it. Simply plain. No more doing cars that just were practical. Right. No more doing cars that were just functional. We're doing cars that are head turners. People yep. want to drive them. And there this you know. being Black History Month, yes, sir. what does it mean for yourself being African American and getting a shot to recreate a brand for a story brand? Well, it, it is a historic nameplate. And let's not forget that the Taurus at one time was the world champion, meaning it sold more cars than any cars out there. In the 90s, it sold 400,000 units in one year. So it has a very historic name. Now, now getting the opportunity, getting the chance to design on a historic nameplate like that, it don't get any better than that. So, and I'm thrilled, man. You know, this is what, uh, you know, all those late nights of sketching all those crazy shapes, that's what it was all about. And, and here it is in the flesh. Go get one. My man.